Welcoming the 1976 United States Women's Olympic Basketball Team to the Hall of Fame are Nancy Lieberman and Ann Myers Drysdale. Speaking on behalf of the celebrated squad is team captain Juleen Brzezinski Simpson. Thank you. Also with us on stage are Sue Roycewicz, Patricia Trish Roberts, Marianne O'Connor, and Gail Marquis. <laughs> Unable to be with us this evening, but watching from home, our teammates Cindy Brogdon and Nancy Dunkel. With us in spirit, who God has called home, our head coach, Billy Jean Moore, assistant coach, Sue Gunter, team manager, Jean Rollins, trainer, Gail Weldon, and teammates, Charlotte Peaches Lewis, Lucy Harris Stewart, and Padhead Summit. We are honored to stand in front of you this evening as the first women's Olympic basketball team to be inducted into this Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. Thank you to the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame and the Women's Veteran Committee for this incredible honor. To John DeLiva, Jerry Colangelo, Jennifer McManus, and the entire Hall of Fame staff for this amazing event. And to Tim Tooley and the staff at USA Basketball. We congratulate the entire class of 2023. We love you. Wow. Thinking back to 1976, 47 years ago, we were just kids, 17 to 22-year-old amateur athletes who barely knew each other and had no idea the impact we would make on women's athletics. Our coach, Billy Moore, knew. She said to us, you are the first Olympic women's basketball team. There's going to be many after you, but you will be the first. And Billy was right. We had the honor of making history that year in many ways. As the first U.S. women's Olympic basketball team, playing in the first ever Olympic women's basketball game, we recorded the first foul, that was me, <laughs> the first rebound, the first assist, and the first basket, which was scored by Lucy Harris. <clears throat> Thank you, Andrew Moranis, for telling our story of our team in your amazing book, Inaugural Ballers. There are so many people we would like to thank who played a vital role in making our dreams of being on the very first women's Olympic basketball team a reality. First and foremost, our families. To our parents, we say thank you for your love, your support, your daily sacrifice, and for believing in our dreams. We thank our brothers and sisters who competed against us in the playgrounds and in the gyms. Thank you to the many female athletes who paved the way for us, many who are here this evening. We see you, we appreciate you. We thank the individuals and teachers who volunteered to coach a girls' sport at a time when it wasn't a popular thing to do. As the 1976 Olympic Games approached, more than 1,000 women attended the regional tryouts, paying their own way 
with the dream of making the team. There was no national training center. There was no Olympic development teams, no funding, and definitely no air-conditioned gyms. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Mildred Barnes in Central Missouri State for allowing the final tryouts and training to be held at their facility for free. Thank you to Bill Wall, who was the executive director of ABA USA, who gave his personal credit card to Billy Moore to cover every expense for our team. I have the most amazing teammates. Pat and I were so proud to be selected as your captains. It is an honor to speak on behalf of the team. We had the best team chemistry on the court, and we enjoyed each other off the court. To our teammates, we say thank you to the sacrifices that you made as individuals so we could win that Olympic silver medal and be enshrined tonight. Right. Right. We played for future generations of girls who might see themselves in one of us. And now we see the incredible path that women's basketball has taken. Basketball was God's gift to us, and it changed our lives forever. We thank you again for this incredible honor.